what we have here is a potential game changer for pet owners. My name is Jamie Andrews and this is the Eufy X8 Pro Robot Vacuum and Mop Combo with an auto empty dustbin and a few unique tricks up its sleeve. Let me explain by first taking a close look at the robot itself. On the top we have a home, power, and spot cleaning button, plus a bump sensor to protect the LiDAR cover. Lifting the lid we spot the QR code to get started with the app along with a Wi-Fi indicator light and reset button. Here's where you will notice the word Twin Turbo which describes one of the X8 Pro's tricks which is not one, but two vacuum motors, each producing 4,000 pascals of suction power. The dustbin is 335 milliliters in size and has a rather large filter with a built-in pre-screen. Around back, we see a set of charging contacts and the 270 milliliter removable electronically controlled water tank, which dispenses water on the mopping pad in three places. Around front, we see what looks like an object avoidance sensor and it is in fact listed as having infrared object avoidance. But there are no settings in the app and in my test it did not avoid any objects in its path including the fake animal waste. I also saw no other mention of object avoidance in marketing materials. Under the robot we have four cliff sensors, a single side spinning brush, and bottom charging contacts since this can be purchased without the auto empty dock. Strangely missing is an ultrasonic carpet detection sensor. The roller brush is a combo of very thick bristles and rubber. The ends do not appear to be removable, which goes along with Yuffie's claim of not needing to clean the roller brushes. This silver bar that looks like a saw blade is the other trick the X8 Pro has, which is the first of its kind hair detanglement system designed to remove hair from the roller brush automatically. We will test this in a bit. Around back we have the mopping system which consists of a thin mopping pad velcroed to a removable mopping plate. The X8 Pro does not have a vibrating or lifting mopping system which means you will need to remove the mopping plate each time you vacuum and when mopping you will have to create no mopping zones in the app to protect your carpets and rugs from being wet. Since the mopping pad is always down, Eufy includes this protective clear floor guard which includes sticky feet to keep it from sliding around. Looking at the dock, the one word to describe it is tiny. The robot backs into the dock to charge and have the contents of the dustbin extracted in the dock through this rather large hole which should cut down on clogs. Up top we have an included 2.5 liter dust bag which is lined and super thick to deal with allergies. It's one of the nicest bags that I have seen to date. I just wish it was a little bit bigger in size. You also only get one of these bags in the box. A few drawbacks to the dock design is it's so small it can easily get bumped around. I know a lot of people want a small package, but the dock could be at least as wide as the robot and still not take up much more room in your house. The small dock is likely the limiting size of the dust bag, which should be bigger if designed for pets with lots of hair. Next, because the robot backs into the dock, that means that when you need to add or remove the mopping pad, you must remove the robot from the dock each time. Okay, let's move on to the testing of the X8 Pro, starting with the sound test. From about four feet away with the vacuum in standard suction mode, I measured about 64 dB. Boosting it all the way up to max mode increased the sound level to 67 dB, which is not too bad considering it has two vacuum motors in it. From 6 feet away from the dock, I measured 72 dB of sound when performing an auto empty. Certainly not the loudest I have tested, but how about the effectiveness of the auto empty system? Well, in my testing with a dustbin pack full of hair and debris, I always found it would remove most of the contents, but it always left the larger, heavier debris in the dustbin, no matter how many times I ran it. Next, I wanted to test the hair detanglement system, which I think is a brilliant idea. The hair detanglement system runs after every job to scrape the hair off the rollers and into the dustbin. You can also run it manually through the app. In my home with two long-haired girls, it is of no surprise that hair will quickly get wrapped around the roller brush with bristles on it. 
In testing, I found the system did not appear to work at all for my situation. Not only did it not remove the hair, the dustbin was completely empty after proving that it did not work. According to Eufy, they must expect there to be some issues as there is an entire FAQ section in the app dedicated to addressing this issue. To Eufy's defense, one of them suggests it won't work well for hair longer than 12 inches, which could be why my testing is not showing as very effective. Unfortunately, I don't have dogs, so your test results with thicker dog hair will likely vary from mine with human hair. Comment below if you have any experience using this with dog hair. Eufy claims 180 minutes of runtime from the 5400 milliamp internal battery, but my testing results fell well short of that, likely due to twice the number of vacuum motors. In my testing, I was only able to get around 60 to 80 minutes of runtime on standard vacuum power. Thankfully, the robot does support recharge and resume. Let's test the performance of the dual vacuum motors by first starting it on medium power carpet with 54 grams of colored rice. I should also mention the X8 Pro does have carpet boost, which without a carpet detection sensor must rely on drag from the vacuum motor before it will engage. So there's about a four second delay here. In this test, I was only able to pick up 43 grams or 79% of the rice Things on tile floor fared a good bit better, with the only big issue being the very fast side spinning brush, which caused a good bit of the cat litter to be scattered around my room. Other than the scattering of litter, I thought the robot did fairly well with 118 grams or 90%. Moving on to the mopping test where I used baked on hot sauce on my tile floor and sent the robot out for two passes to clean up as much as possible. I pre-wet the mopping pads and set the water output level to the highest setting without using any detergent. The results were not all that great, as it was only able to clear about 35% of the hot sauce. Looking at the mopping pad, it appears we have at least a few issues. If you notice the material in the center for some reason is thicker than it is on the sides, which means the full pad is not making complete contact with the floor. This can easily be seen here when mopping near my wall, showing only the center of the pad putting down water, and yes, the pad was pre-wet here. Now before you fret, this is a very basic mopping system and not designed to replace your mop and bucket, but rather to keep the floors clean in between moppings, and in everyday testing, I felt it lived up to the expectations and was just as shocked when I ran it through my test. Just don't expect any deep mopping from this robot and you'll be fine. On a more positive note, I must point out the app was very easy to get set up, and the robot does support fast mapping, which mapped my home in no time flat. I did have some struggles dividing the rooms, but after several tries, I was able to get it done. The app is well laid out and super easy to use. As far as navigation goes, the X8 Pro did very well with no issues moving around my home. No bugs or navigation quirks at all, and even though the X8 Pro does not have a side wall sensor, I found it did not appear to impact the performance. In conclusion with the Eufy X8 Pro, it's a very interesting robot vacuum with several innovative features to make it attractive to people with pets. Unfortunately, I don't have long-haired, thick-coated dogs to properly test the ability of it to do so. I often hear from pet owners who need a robot like this, so I think it's a step forward in the right direction, even though it might need to get refined in future versions of the hardware. I do wish the overall performance of the Eufy X8 Pro was better, and it included a dedicated carpet sensor, larger dock dust bag, and have proper object avoidance, which is something most pet owners would want. Where I think Eufy adds some value is with their super easy to set up and use app and large collection of how-to videos on their YouTube channel, which I will link below. The other robot vacuum companies should do this, and I applaud Eufy for the effort. You can easily find the Getting Started Guide as it is always within view in the app and includes a ton of very helpful information. I recently found the Eufy X8 Pro to be on sale, so I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you do buy it, please tell me how it performs with dog hair. I'm dying to know. I want to thank each of you for watching this video. And if you've not done so already, please subscribe to support my efforts here on YouTube.
All right, take it easy, everyone. Bye-bye.